Welcome to Future Dr. Neat Academy for the problem solving session in Neat Physics. Topic chosen today is from chapter 9, Ray Optics and Optical Instruments. And today is not problem solving session, problem questionary session. That is, seven questions will be showered in this session and in next session we will solve the solution for this question. Let's move to question number 1. The concave mirror of focal length f1 is placed at a distance of d from a convex lens of focal length f2. A beam of light coming from infinity and falling on this convex lens, concave mirror combination returns to infinity. The distance d must be equal to dash. A option, f1 plus f2. B option, minus f1 plus f2. C option, 2f1 plus f2. D option, minus 2f1 plus f2. That is here, you should know the formula for concave mirror and convex lens, that combination. And based on that, you are able to find the solution for this question. Let's move to question number 2. A man is 6 feet tall. In order to see his entire image, he requires a plane mirror of minimum length equal to dash. A option, 6 feet. B option, 12 feet. C option, 2 feet. D option, 3 feet. That is, that is to find the length of the mirror. That formula you should know. If you know the formula, you are able to find the solution for this question. Let's move to question number 3. If two mirrors are kept inclined at 60 degree, to each other and a body is placed at the middle. Then total number of images formed is dash A 6, B 5, C 4, D 3. Here also you should know the formula that is how the number of images produced with respect to the angle. The mirror, two mirror kept that angle. If you know the formula, you are able to find the solution for this question. Let's move to question number 4. Which color of the light has the longest to wavelength? A option blue, B option green. C option violet, D option red. That you should know the, the spectrum for visible light. VBR, you should know the wavelength of the VBR. By knowing the table, you are able to find the answer for this question. Let's move to question number 5. A thin prism having refractive index 10 degree is made of glass of refractive index 1.42. This prism is combined with another thin prism of glass of refractive index 1.7. This combination produces dispersion without deviation. The refracting angle of second prism should be dash. A option 4 degree. B option 6 degree. C option 8 degree. D option 10 degree. You should know the formula for the refractive angle, refractive index. That formula by knowing this you are able to find the solution for this question. Let's move to question number 6. Which of the following is not due to total internal refraction? A. Difference between apparent and real depth of pond. B option, mirage on hot summer days. C option, brilliance of diamond. D option, working of optical fiber. That is, you should know the total internal reflection. The example or application of total internal reflection. From that, you get the idea to find the answer for this question. Let's move to question number 7. When a biconvex lens of glass having refractive index 1.47 is dipped in a liquid, it acts as a plane sheet of glass. This implies that the liquid must have refractive index dash. A option equal to the top glass. B option less than 1. C option greater than the top glass. D option less than the top glass. That is, you should know the formula for refractive index with respect to this other things, other refractive index of the medium. By knowing the value, you are able to find a solution for this question. Okay. Thank you, students. In next session, we will see the solution for this question. Thank you.